in this lecture of maxima and minima we will understand what is concavity and point of inflection in the previous lecture we have already discussed about point of inflection but however in this lecture we will try to understand the same concept with the help of concavity now let us see what is concave upward means an arc of a curve y equal to f of x is called concave upward if at each of its points the arc lies above the tangent at the point let us see this with the help of the figure now in this figure observe that the arc of the curve it lies completely above the tangent in both these cases so such a curve is called concave upward now here are some characteristics about concave upward curves if y equal to f of x is a concave upward curve then as x increases f dash x either is of the same sign and increasing or changes sign from negative to positive in both the cases f dash x is increasing and so f double dash x is greater than 0 therefore we can say that for a concave upward curve f double dash x is greater than 0 now this concept will be useful when we want to find maxima or minima points for a function one important thing here is f dash x is increasing now this we can see in the figure f dash x is increasing we mean the slope is increasing so concave upward is when the slope increases therefore here is a concave upward curve and we can see the slope is increasing continuously now let us understand what is concave downward an arc of a curve y equal to f of x is called concave downward if at each of its points the arc lies below the tangent at the point therefore we can see in the figure the arc of the curve is lying completely below the tangent at this point p so such a curve is said to be concave downward now we will see the characteristic of this curve if y equal to f of x is a concave downward curve then as x increases f dash x either is of the same sign and decreasing or changes sign from positive to negative in both the cases f dash x is decreasing i'll repeat f dash x is decreasing and so f double dash x is less than 0 that is the second derivative is negative hence for a concave downward curve f double dash x is less than 0 so as i said earlier this part will be very helpful or in fact we will be using this concept to decide the maxima or minima of a function now we will move on to see a figure for this concave downward is when the slope decreases because we said that here f dash x is decreasing therefore we can see that the slope is decreasing continuously when the curve is concave downward now we will understand points of inflection if f dash c is equal to 0 and f dash x has the same sign in the complete neighborhood of c then c is neither a point of local maximum value nor a point of local minimum value such a point is called a point of inflection now in one of our previous lectures we have already discussed about the points of inflection using this definition and also we have seen that one side of the curve lies below the tangent at p 
and the other side it lies above the tangent at P. So, if this is the P is the point of inflection, this part that is this is concave upward is lying this side and concave downward is lying this side. Similarly, concave downward is lying this side and concave upward is lying on the other side of the tangent at this point P. So, we can also say the point where the curve crosses the tangent is a point of inflection. Now, we will understand point of inflection with the help of concavity. A point of inflection is a point at which a curve is changing concave upward to concave downward or a point at which a curve is changing concave downward to concave upward. As seen here in this figure, here it is changing from concave downward to concave upward. Similarly, here it is changing from concave upward to concave downward. So, that is what we mean by these statements. Now, in terms of the derivatives, we can say that a point of inflection of the graph of a function f x is a point where the second derivative that is f double dash x is 0. So, if the second derivative is 0 at that point, then we say that is a point of inflection. From this, we have the following theorem. The curve y equal to f of x has a point of inflection at x is equal to c if and only if f dash c equal to 0, f double dash c equal to 0 and f triple dash c is not equal to 0. That is the first two derivatives at this point must be 0 and the third derivative should not be 0. Then we say the function has a point of inflection at that point x equal to c. Now, we will see an example for this. Consider the function f of x is equal to x cube. We have seen this example before also and this figure also we have discussed before. We have seen that 0 is neither a point of local maxima nor a point of local minima. Therefore, we are calling this as point of inflection. Let us understand now the same with the help of derivatives. So, what is the first derivative of this function? It is f dash x is equal to 3 x square. Then the second derivative will be 6 x and the third derivative is 6 which is a constant. Okay. Now, we see that f dash 0 is equal to 0. We get the point 0 by equating f dash x equal to 0 and we get x equal to 0. So, we are seeing that the point x equal to 0 is a point of inflection or not. Then, find the second derivative at x equal to 0 that is also 0 because 6 into 0 is 0. How about the third derivative at x equal to 0? That will, be re that will remain as 6 which is not equal to 0 and in fact, this is a positive quantity. Therefore, what do we say from this theorem? It follows that x equal to 0 is a point of inflection as shown in the figure. Hence, we have understood the concept of concavity and with the help of concavity, we have understood what are points of inflection.